So I hope you have installed installed properly the iJulia package and the Anaconda package. And once you are done with the installation of both, and and after that, once you try to open the Jupyter notebook by going into the start, and in here you have Anaconda, and within this you have the Jupyter notebook. If I click it over here, it will open up a new session for me. As you can see it over here and to create a new file I have the new option but before I create a new file just an overview of this section which basically talks about the different folders which you can create it again from the new new folder new Python file new Julia file whatever I want I can uh, create that and within folder you can keep your file so for example if you are working in a project so you may want that all the files are in this single project so maybe for us we will create a new project by creating a folder and once I create it a new untitled folder is created so what I see is it is little less user friendly because it should have ideally asked me that what name I want to give it to this folder but to do that what I can do is click over here that means I am selecting this and clicking on rename so once I click on rename I need to enter the name of the folder or my project in which I want to keep all my file related to the project. So our project is learning Julia. We want to learn Julia and that is our project. So let's start with it. Click on rename and now it has come over here. As I said, it is little less uh, user friendly, but bear with me. Once we are done with this course, you are pretty much through with this Jupyter notebook. And if you are seeing my previous videos related to the Python's and all, you will be pretty much well aware about it. So clicking on learning Julia now saying that uh, there is nothing over here. So what we can do is click on new and click on Julia 1.2. So this has created a Julia file for us or an interface or an environment in which we can write it. So just a couple of things about this environment. First thing is it's a Jupyter in integrated development environment in which the file name is untitled so we can say learning Julia and click on rename right so once we click on rename by default it keeps on saving the changes so you don't really have to worry about it it keep on uh, checking it after a couple of seconds over here you can see that you are within the Julia or you want to log out you can click on log out over there you have couple of options which we will be seeing but pretty intuitive like file related options if you want to create a new or a notebook or open a notebook make a copy so on and so forth similarly edit is related to the cells cells are nothing but this particular area so this area is where either we write a command or some uh, you know headings and all related to our code so this is basically a cell and uh, that's what we will going to refer when we will work like split cell merge cells or merge cell above below move cell up and down all the operations related to it uh, one of the important uh, menu is the kernel where you will see that you want may want to interrupt because sometimes it happens that uh, our code is continuously running and uh, it's it's not stopping because it may have hanged or something so we may want to re interrupt restart restart and clear output restart and run all all of that option which we generally want is available over here and finally you have a widgets option in case we want to add the widgets we which will which we will see later uh, once a situation will arise okay so before we do anything uh, let's try to repeat what we did earlier so we did 2 plus 2 very basic operation right and to execute this we want to enter either control plus enter or shift plus enter if i press control plus enter what happens is since it is the very first time it will take some time to connect it so now it has given us the output that output is 4 so i have pressed control enter and when i pressed control enter it just gives me the output but if you want that along with the output you want to create a new line so what you can do is press shift enter this way it will execute the cell and give you the new line to work in 
so mostly we enter shift enter okay so 2 plus 2 is 1 and then let's say I add 12 divided by 2 press shift enter 6 pretty straightforward operation very similar to the Julia command prompt so I just wanted to give you a quick start with this another thing is uh, hello world the one which we entered over there here it has given us similarly if I write print command and say hello world it give me whatever I have written over there it gives me the output now instead of code if you want it to change it to some sort of heading so there is a markdown option raw and we convert which we'll see later but for now I will just introduce you to the heading option so what heading does if I click over here Jupyter no longer uses special heading cells instead write your own heading in markdown cell using hash characters so hash is basically saying that it is a level 2 heading so 2 hash level 2 heading 1 hash level 1 heading so right now we are in hash 1 this is heading 1 right and if I say hash hash this is heading 2 all right uh, I will just change it to heading and then it will write it this is heading 1 this is heading 2 so this is how you will going to write uh, your headings so why we need to enter heading for example I just double clicked over there and I am in edit mode so what it is basically doing over there or why we need it is reason is we may want to add a section or uh, information about in this block of lines what code we are writing so for example importing a file for processing so let's say we enter shift enter importing a file for processing and then after a couple of lines we add another header we are processing this file another header we are analyzing this file so this way your code is pretty clean so this is how you can make sure that whether you are in a code mode if you are in a code mode then all the operation that you are mentioning will going to work fine if you are in a heading mode then you will enter the heading or just a plain text which is highlighted like this all right so that's about it in this session or in this topic now i will meet you in the next topic